that is just it's very frustrating i'm trying to just honestly keep it together so guys i just have to be honest with you about where i've been for the past month not posting any content just how things have been going in my life and why I felt the need to step away from YouTube and how I am trying to push forward. I felt the need to really share with you guys how I felt like I went wrong and where I feel like I need to go in order to make a change and be more effective for you guys and show up better for you and my channel. So for the past couple months, things have been really busy for me when it comes to YouTube and when it comes to my job. Um, I am a product manager full time for a software development company and I just have a lot of really big projects happening right now that have been taking so much of my time and have just been taking a lot of my mental capacity and I just did not feel like I mentally was able to show up for you guys. And at the same time, my channel, my videos have just not been doing well for the type of content that I am trying to produce for you. I feel like right now I'm confusing the algorithm where a lot of my content previously was about nutrition and weight loss and right now a lot of my content is focused on planning and if I'm honest my channel has just not been progressing how I would like for it to have been progressing for the past six months or so it has just been very very frustrating to know that day in and day out, I am coming up with content, filming for you guys, as well as editing, which just takes me so long, just to see maybe 50 views for a video, or just to see maybe 60 views for a video. Oh, it's just, it's very frustrating. I'm trying to just honestly keep it together because this is the reality when you are putting something that you work really hard on into the internet atmosphere and just putting it up for people to kind of judge at their will. It makes you very vulnerable. To share things that you love and things that you enjoy, things that mean a lot to you, and for it not to be received well is very frustrating, to be honest, just heartbreaking. And my heart has been broken for a while now. And I feel like for me to show up and not tell you guys that this has been a sad part for me would just be lying to you. And I would never want to do that. That would not be me, that would not be honest. I know that I can do better. I know that I can show up better. I know that I know that I am placing my focus in the wrong places. I will say that first and foremost. Previously, I only focused on view counts and subscriber goals. And don't get me wrong, I still have goals when it comes to view count and goals when it comes to subscribers and making sure that my content is being engaging. But I have to come to the realization that I am still starting out. Because I'm still fairly new to YouTube and still fairly new to content creation, I am starting from scratch. This is not gonna be something that happens overnight. I think it's been a little bit over a year since I started my channel. More often than not, it takes a lot more work, a lot more time to put into YouTube to be successful or to have it as a successful business versus those who have like one or two videos that just blow up. I really want to lean more into planning and organization space and that is changing how I've typically done everything. And it's really, really challenging. So not only was my focus in the wrong place, but I did not take a break. So for the past month or so, even if I didn't necessarily post, I was still filming, I was still editing, and I did not take a break for an entire year. And I wouldn't say I necessarily had burnout. I think it was more so that I lost sight of where my focus was because I was so busy just trying to pump out videos, pump out shorts, or create content or film that I was not taking a step back to really assess and analyze where the direction of my channel was going and if I still wanted it to even go in that direction. Now that I'm finally taking the time to do that, I realized that it was not going in the direction that I wanted it to even go. And even my priorities changed where my interests just weren't in the same place, but also I was finding that the more people I talked to and the more people I wanted to help weren't necessarily in that direction. They were in a completely different space. Those are the people that I want to speak to. Working nonstop for editing and filming, and then on top of that, working late hours with my job, that is what I was 
feeling as far as mentally just was not sustainable. I recognize that YouTube and content creation and even product management, it's not a sprint, it's definitely a marathon, and I'm learning so much along the way, but it's giving myself the grace to continue to learn and to make changes. But I couldn't recognize that with the old way that I was doing things. There were definitely days where I would be all day working in my work laptop and would close the laptop and immediately open my personal laptop so I could start editing, so I could start content planning, or maybe I had a meeting. You have to take a break. And I just was not doing that for myself. So my old plans of only focusing on subscriber goals and only focusing on the number of views for each video, I'm not taking any breaks from work, even just like during the day, switching from one job to another, that is not happening anymore. So we have a new plan. We have new things that we are going for. When plans don't work, you have to make some changes. So the first change that I am making is that I am taking breaks. I am currently on my last day of my spring break that I absolutely love for myself. That has just been so much fun because I just got a chance to relax. I spent time with my family and friends. I went out to lunch with a friend, I went shopping. That was just so relaxing for me, but I'm also the type of person that I have to kind of be doing some sort of, not necessarily work, but I have to be doing something that stimulates my mind. When I was a kid, I loved making puzzles. I loved like the thousand piece puzzles, the ones that would take like forever to do. I would be in my mom's living room with the puzzle pieces spread out all over the floor, putting them all together just to take them all apart again and do it all over again. Like that was just such a highlight for me. And right now in this condo, we do not have the space for that. So what I did instead was that I made Legos. I am absolutely obsessed with the Legos that I created. Um, I got both of them from the botanical section. First one is an orchid. I absolutely love it. I think that it's so gorgeous and tall. It wasn't as many pieces, probably like six something. Once I created it, I was like, this thing is beautiful. And I would say actually the orchid, I was able to do in a few hours, maybe four hours. It didn't take a long time to do because the pieces were all fairly large, but it's beautiful, it's beautiful. The second thing I created was the bonsai tree. And the bonsai tree was something that was much more challenging than the orchid, many small pieces. But one thing I loved about the, the bonsai tree that I did not realize is that there were some days where I had to take a step back and say, okay, I'm done for today. Maybe I got stuck in a certain place and it was really because the shape of one of the pieces was not exactly how it was shaped in the diagram. If you've ever tried to put together one of the collections from Lego, they do provide you with a book and how to put everything together so it makes it much easier. But for this particular piece, it was not in the exact same shape of how it looked in the diagram. And because of that, I was just struggling to figure out where the piece even was. I was thinking that I was missing pieces and it was just stressing me out that I could not find it. But it turned out that it was just in a different shape than what I had seen it. And I feel like that's a word right there. Not all the time are things going to show up how you think that they're going to look. And for this particular puzzle piece, it was right in front of my face the entire time but it was just in a different shape than what I thought it would come as. When I realized that, and that was only after I took a break and came back a couple days later, I realized that it was right there the entire time. Now that I'm done with the bonsai tree, I realized that it's really about perspective. Whether it's the goals that I have or the views or subscribers, it's really about perspective. I feel so blessed that I have anyone to watch my content. Each person that supports me by watching these videos, I am so thankful to each and every one of you. This has been a challenge for me to learn how to film, learn how to edit for the past year, like just challenging myself. I can say that I'm glad that this is something that I'm doing and I'm hoping that each video that I provide gives you some sort of value that makes you come back for more. 
Taking a break from posting videos was definitely a tough thing to do. I feel like it was the best thing for me to do in order to the next step of my plan, which was to reset. And with resetting, I didn't post videos for about four or five weeks. And getting back in the swing of things with filming is definitely a little difficult there. But what I will say is that it is one of the best things that I could have done for myself. Taking the time to really reassess and decide what type of content I want to bring, what I enjoy doing, but also what does my audience enjoy. That has really been eye-opening and I've really enjoyed taking this time away. Now I can come back, be better, and provide better content to you. So the third thing that I've done on my break is to get back to basics. And one of my favorite things to do is journal. If you've ever seen any of my routine videos or any of my vlogs where I go throughout my day, then you would have definitely seen that journaling is one of the first things that I do. And that is because journaling is such a big part of my life. And during this time, I really wanted to focus on gratitude. Um, I've never had a gratitude journal. I've always been the person who's had more of the blank journals instead of using journal prompts, and I still use those to, these, to this day. I found that just being thankful for each and everything that I have, all of my blessings, even the things that have not gone exactly the way that I've wanted them to go, they have really been lessons for me, and I am just so grateful to have those in my life. They've also given me a time to be more introspective. And with this introspection, I found that I have not necessarily been as strategic as I probably could have to be more efficient with my time. Right now, when it comes to the systems that I'm using, whether it's for recording videos or for work, I find that I might be doing too much and that streamlining should be key. And especially since it's just me that's doing the filming, just me that's doing my editing, making better use of my time will really help me to be more effective with what it is that I'm doing for you guys. So the fourth thing that I'm doing is that I am moving forward. I can't tell you enough how hard it is to move forward when you feel like you're stuck. When things aren't going right, a lot of times you just wanna reflect on the bad things and you never actually move forward to make any future progress. And that is something that I don't wanna do. I don't wanna be stagnant. I don't want to not provide any content to you guys. I don't want to stop what it is that I'm doing because I'm so stuck and so sad in where I was that I don't do anything to make myself better. That is why I've decided to just move forward. I told you guys that I'm changing the content in my channel. I will still provide some vlogs here and there, but for the most part, it'll just be focusing on planning, goals, and routines. And hopefully, you will stick around as we are going through this journey together. I'll be providing you guys with all of the tips and tricks of how I plan, how you can be more efficient with your time, especially with anything time management related. I love talking about time management. I love providing routines. I love helping people to be more efficient with their time and thinking of the opportunities that they may not have considered initially. Like, that's what I love to do. That is what I want to bring to you guys. I will be updating my website as well as my social media platforms to reflect this change as well. But in the meantime, if you guys have not checked out these videos already, you definitely wanna check out this playlist. If there's something that you would love to see on my channel as far as planning, organizing, routines, any type of content like that, be sure to leave that in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.